Newly promoted Doncaster Bells are all set for their new season in the Women's Super League. The Dons return to the top flight of women's football for the first time in two years and manager Glenn Harris feels there's a buzz around the camp. It's been a great pre-season, the girls have worked really hard, their attitude and application has been top, top draw. We've got some good staff in, we've got some good new players, they've all gelled together and, and I think they're just all now just biting at the bit to get the season started and so am I. What could some of the fans expect from some of the newer faces that we're going to see around this season? Well, I think Natasha Dowie is a name well known around the women's game. She's been up there with the top scorers in the league while it's been in existence. And hopefully that's what's going to happen. She's going to score us some goals. Uh, Catherine uh, from, from, from Liverpool, who's an Icelandic international, she's got quality on the ball. Her, her engine, her work ethic is absolutely phenomenal. So we're expecting big things from Catherine. Becky Easton brings bags and bags of experience uh, and she's been a great asset around the team. The quiet assassin, as we call her, she just gets on with things, sorts things out and then if she needs to let people know, she lets them know. Uh, we've brought a young keeper in, Anna, Anna Morehouse. Again, good addition, good hands, good prospect and she's working with an experienced keeper in Nick, so that should be good. Uh, and then we've got Siggy back, Jess Sigworth's come back, um, had a year away from the club. Uh, I think this is where her heart is and she's absolutely on fire. So. Uh, I think another one who can't wait for the season to start. Is it all about after all the hard work that was put in getting the bells up into this division? Is it about keeping them there? Now? Well, I think that was our initial thing: is that we want to sustain it. Uh, you know, our status in WSL one. It's big. It's getting bigger, and we want to be a part of that. But I think our ambitions are a little bit greater than that now. We've made some good signings. The uh, the players that we've retained from last year that've been full time work really hard, and the, the standards high. So I think our ambitions are probably you know we want to be top six. And I mean, you've got a really prolific attack now, and Natasha and Sweet with Kirk up front. I mean, yeah, yeah, and as I said, we've got them. We've got Jess Sigsworth, and we've also got a good youngster, uh, Carla Humphrey, on loan from Arsenal, who, again, it's great competition up there, and it makes it hard for me, but that's what we want. And they know that, and they know they're fighting for places, and, and the quality's good, but also their, their application and work ethic is very, very good too. This year sees one of the Bells' former captains return to the squad. Becky Easton returns to the Keep Morton and says it's good to be back. I had, had a great period of my career here back in early 2000s, had four seasons here which I really enjoyed, you know I look back on as probably the happiest time of my career. I mean, you must have some really fond memories because you captained the side for a swell period as well. I didn't did, you? yeah, and we reached a couple of cup finals as well, but we just failed to get over the line. But it was a great. We didn't win anything. We came close to winning things, but I really enjoyed my time here. It's great to see Doncaster Bells back in that WSL one as well, isn't it? Yeah, it, the club deserves to be here. You know, the history of the club, the the feeling around the club. It, it is a WSL one club. We should be in the top tier, and hopefully, we can stay here for a long time. What have you found of your teammates? Are you hoping to pass on some of your experience to them as well? I think we've got a good mixture there's quite a few youngsters um, there's experienced players as well so I'm one of the most experienced so I'm hoping I can rub off a little bit on the younger ones Are you hoping that this WSL one season obviously is going to be very competitive what are you hoping for the Bells this season? Um, ultimately that we consolidate our position as a top tier team um, and then as a player I'm hoping that we're, we're very competitive in all games um, we're at the top end of the table come the end of the season and you know it'd be nice to get to a cup final I've, I've played in a few and it's a great day and it's a great day for the club so hopefully get to a cup final as well I know how many England caps you've had so I can't um, not have an interview with you without talking about England I mean what have you made of, of the England set up uh, with the women's game yeah it's great to see them competing against you know the top top nations in the world at the moment when I played you know, we you know, Germany were a bogey team, USA were a bogey team and I think we've got closer to them now so that's nice to see. And obviously a massive expansion in the, in the uh, domestic game now as well. Yeah, yeah, that's improving year on year. Um, it's very competitive. I think the last couple of years have shown how competitive it is and I think this year is going to be the same as well. As well as Courtney Sweetman Kirk, who scored 20 goals in just 18 league games last season, the club have also bolstered their attack with Natasha Dowie. The forward has been the top scorer for every club she's played at and has 15 England caps to her name. I started by asking her how it felt to be part of the Bell setup. It feels amazing, you know, it's a great club. Feel honoured to call myself a Bell now and just can't wait for the season to start on Sunday. Feels right that they're back in WSL one as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You know, I, I didn't play for Donny, and but when I saw what happened, it was really quite upsetting. So to see them eventually get themselves back up into WSL one, I think everyone involved in women's football wanted that, um, and I think they deserve to be there with with the name of the club and the his history of the club. And now it's us as players to to keep Donny Bell's up there in WSL one, and not just keep them up in the league, but to really put themselves. You know, in the, in the top half of the table, competing for trophies. 
I suppose the main thing that Bells fans will be seeing from you is goals. I hope so. Yeah, every year, you know, that that's what I love to do. That's why I play football is, you know, firstly and foremost to win games and, and win things. But, you know, I love seeing the ball hit the back of the net and I've done it pretty much every season and every club I've been at. So hopefully I can bring even more goals this year for Donny. And good being up front with Sweetman Kirk as well. Yeah, I know. It's going to make my life a lot easier playing with the likes of Courtney Sweetman Kirk. Carla Humphrey, Jess Sigsworth, I mean, just to name a few. I mean, all of them score goals, but also create goals as well. And, you know, it's probably the strongest uh, front line that I've ever played with, actually. So I'm really excited to see how um, our partnerships form this season. And hoping that with these performances, maybe back in the team one day. Yeah, I'd love to. You know, it's, it's been an honour to represent my country. I've been very lucky to have said that. You know, I've played for England. That's everyone's dream, really. And, you know, for me, I really feel like there's more to come from me on the international stage. And I'd love to get back involved with England, especially how well the team are doing at the minute. Who doesn't want to be a part of that? How competitive do you think this top division will be this season? It'll be very competitive. You know, I, I, can't, I couldn't call it, to be honest. You know, there's, there's obviously the likes of the Arsenals, the Cities and Chelsea's there. A kind of people are branding, are going to be the top three. But for me, there's not going to be any easy game. And I think every single team um, has a very strong team. So I'm very excited to see how the season's going to go. I'm sure there'll be lots of twists and turns. The Bells kick off their WSL1 season against title holders Chelsea and the Keep Morton next Thursday. <laughs>